Let's talk about the Intel Arc Alchemist desktop graphics cards. They are confirmed. This is coming from WCCF Tech. Intel confirms Arc Alchemist desktop graphics cards in Q2 of 2022. Workstation graphics cards, which is what we'll be interested in as miners by Q3 of 2022. Celestial architecture for ultra enthusiast segment, segment in the works. This one's going to be fun. This is the fun one. We want that celestial architecture, baby. Ultra enthusiast segment. Ultra mining enthusiast segment. <laughs> as I stare down the gamers. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get into it. During his 2022 investor meeting, Intel confirmed that it will be shipping its first Arc Alchemist desktop degree, discrete graphics card in Q2 of 2022. It looks like Intel themselves have confirmed that while Arc Alchemist GPUs will be coming to the notebook segment in the first quarter of 2022, desktops will get the discrete graphics card update by the second quarter of 2022, while Workstation will get the first Arc Alchemist powered products by the third quarter of 2022. They got some really bad picture here, but apparently this is the mascot for the uh, third gen arc graphics lineup in addition to arc alchemist it looks like intel is also well underway on the development of its next generation arc graphics architecture the company aims to offer enthusiast grade products with its battle mage architecture next year but the design work is already underway on its celestial graphics architecture which comes after battle mage and will be addressing the ultra enthusiast segment it is expected to be launched beyond 2024 you got to appreciate their uh, their their in-house naming scheme battle mage celestial it's much better than amp here <laughs> you know what i mean it is also interesting to see Intel use the ultra enthusiast wording for the celestial lineup. This could mean that while Battle Mage is aiming for the enthusiast segment, it still won't have the GPU options to compete against Nvidia and AMD's highest end offer offerings. So those who want to see those insane discrete graphics cards that sit at the top of the hill should wait for 2024 for the next generation celestial products. Intel Arc graphics timing and roadmap update. So here we go. AXG expects to ship more than 4 million discrete GPUs in 2022. OEMs are introducing notebooks with Intel Arc graphics codenamed Alchemist for sale in the first quarter of 2022. Intel will ship add-in cards for desktops in the second quarter and workstation by the third quarter. Architecture work has begun on Celestial, a product that will address the ultra enthusiast segment. Project Endgame will enable users to access Intel Arc GPUs through a service for an always accessible low latency computing experience. Project Endgame will be available later this year. Mm not interested. Intel also announced that it plans to offer a new ecosystem known as Project Endgame, which will allow customers to access Intel Arc GPUs through a service. It's a cloud service. Like, uh-uh. No, I'm good, bro. I'm good. Let's see. Uh, as for adoption, Intel plans to ship more than 4 million discrete GPUs in 2022 and aims to deliver 1 billion in revenue in 2022, but AXG plans to scale that revenue up to 10 billion by 2026. Whew. That's a big scale up in like four years. So supercompute roadmap strategy, more than 85% of the world's supercomputers run on Intel Xeon processors. Building on this foundation, AXG is extending to higher compute and memory bandwidth and will deliver a leadership CPU and GPU roadmap to power high performance computing and AI workloads. To date, Intel expects more than 35 HPC AI design wins from top OEMs and CSPs. Additionally, AXG has set a course that paves the way for to Zeta scale by 2027. Am I used to work in like, uh, I suppose, cloud infrastructure? Uh, but before that, we I did do, of course, on-prem stuff. And one of the interesting things always was that compatibility and like basically first mover, mover advantage within enterprise that Intel has. It was 
pretty much frowned upon to even suggest an AMD run server uh, uh, for even small clients, much less large clients. And most of that had to do with compatibility. So like when we're talking about, can they like roll out and will this be used? You know, uh, from that perspective, I, I think the answer is yes. What will be interesting is kind of on the flip side for the GPU processing, the AI stuff, it's been a majority of, of uh, NVIDIA, unless we're talking about specifically, uh, let's see, so architecture, like engineering architecture, uh, trying to think of a couple others. There's a couple others that use a lot of the AMD stuff, uh, graphics cards. But let's, let's continue here. They got Ponte Vecchio. They got to go hard on me here. AXG is on track to deliver uh, these GPUs for the uh, Aura supercomputer program later this year. It achieved leadership performance results with up to 2.6 times more performance compared to the leading market solutions on a complex financial services workload. Interesting. Arctic Sound M brings the industry's first hardware-based AV1 encoder into a GPU to provide 30% bandwidth improvement, includes the industry's only open source media solution. The media and analytics supercomputer enables leadership to transcode quality streaming density in cloud gaming. Arctic Sound M is sampling to customers and will ship by mid 2022. Falcon Shores is a new architecture that will bring x86 and xe GPU together into a single socket. This architecture is targeted for 2024 and is projected to deliver benefits of more than five times the performance per watt, five times compute density, five times memory capac capacity, and bandwidth improvements. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Custom Compute Group, AXG's Custom Compute Group will build tailored products for emerging workloads such as blockchain, yeah, supercomputing at the edge, premium, infotainment for cars and immersive displays scroll down here we get some information i think that's it there's the lineup the only thing we really know about right now is that alchemist gpu and that's it so i'm excited for another competitor within the GPU space, especially a competitor with access to so much manufacturing. Hopefully it alleviates some of the supply chain issues. We'll have to see. I hope you enjoyed this clip from the Crypto Mining Morning Show every Monday through Friday, 7.45 a.m. Pacific and 10.45 a.m. Eastern Time. You can check out more clips here or if you're interested in checking out the entire live show, you can check that out down here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next Tuesday.